mean, obviously we were pretty frustrated after the um, after the first loss, but you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. You know, on Monday whether you win or lost, you just got to keep fighting. Um, so we showed up. You know, Monday morning after the loss to Albany, and we were ready to go and had a great week of practice, and then um, came out with a big win on the last play of the game. And you know, we showed up. You know, this Monday, you know, with the same attitude. You know, we're a pretty hungry team, so we just got to keep moving forward one one game at a time. I mean, it was it was it was something special. Um, I think that's that's exactly what you want. You know, you want um, you know the offensive line. You want guys like that who 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 want to be in the situation where the, where the game's on their shoulders. And you know, I, I think they could have shied away and say, "Oh, thank God, we're kicking the field goal." But absolutely not. You know, we uh, the whole offense. We said we wanted to go for it and we wanted to win the game. And and we were confident that we had worked hard enough in the off season. We had worked hard enough during the week and. We had put the work in that you know we weren't going to be stopped, and I think that's the attitude we had. I mean, I really like the macro stuff. Um, so looking at the economy and the big picture, and I'm in a monetary theory class, which is focusing focusing on banking and investments, uh, which that kind of stuff interests me. So um, it's tough. It's a lot of work, um, but that's what you come to a place like Holy Cross for to get a good education. So um, it's good. I enjoy it. So I'm involved in Big Brothers Big Sisters, as most of the guys on the team are. Um, so we go over there once a week and I mentor a kid named David. Um, so, you know, he's a pretty smart kid. His favorite subject is math. Um, so most of the time we're out throwing the football. Um, he's a pretty good baseball player too. So um, sometimes, you know, I'll pitch to him and let him hit and we'll, we'll do different stuff like that. So mostly play sports. Um, I mean, other than that, just, you know, hanging out with the guys on the team. Um, we're a pretty tight knit senior class. so. Um, I think, you know, mostly big brothers and, and hanging out with the guys on the team. I've noticed, I've noticed a lot. Um, so the first thing I noticed was, um, I think the sign says, this is fit and field or fit and field. That's something that we've never had before um, that I really liked. And I felt everything was more official on Saturday. I don't know why that was. Um, the music was awesome. Um, I, th I think a lot of guys on the team noticed first and foremost that the music was better. Um, so we were real excited about that. And then obviously the, the logo in the middle was something we've never had before that we thought was uh, really cool. Um, so just we like basically everything that's uh, going on with the new AD and and um, yeah, I mean it's it's a pretty cool experience. I love Coach Gilmore and I love the the attitude that he brings. Um, he's a real intense guy, and I think that's when I decided to come here. That's the kind of head coach that I knew that I wanted to play for. Um, some guy that would do absolutely anything and everything to get a win. Um, you know, he's on the sideline, you see his red face, and that's that's exactly what you want, you know, because you, know, you have guys um, grinding out there and you want your coach to be doing the same exact thing. So um, you you got to love to play um, for a guy like that, and I, I certainly do. I mean, they're a good team. Um, last year um, we beat them, but you know, you watch the film, and, and they're a different team than they were last year. So um, we're gonna we've been preparing, you know, just as hard as you know for any other team. We're not taking them lightly, um, and we're just looking at this as as a must-win game as, as we do every week. Being real passionate about Holy Cross, um, not only the football program, but I think the athletic program as well, and, and really, you know, the school at large. So being passionate about Holy Cross athletics, Holy Cross academics, just really being excited and passionate about what the school kind of brings to the table, you know, all in all. So and I think, you know, most of the kids here, you know, are excited about the Holy Cross athletic program, especially with the new AD. And um, I think, you know, people really respect, you know, the student athlete experience. My name is Michael O'Dwyer and I bleed purple.